hello class good day how are you doing hope you're doing fine and great i hope you're all having a lovely day now you're welcome to science class this morning in science we'll be learning about rubber and its uses now when you say rubber i know the first thing that will come to your mind is either the bow you have in your house that your parents used to call rubber give me that rubber or you think of a rubber band but that's not all about rubber that is not what rubber is now let's look at the meaning of rubber and what it is used for now rubber is an highly elastic substance that is harvested mainly in the form of letters from rubber tree that's beautiful that means we have trees where we get rubbers from now, rubber is a highly elastic substance that is harvested mainly in the form of lattice from rubber tree. Lattice is a sticky, milky substance gotten by marking, making marks into the back of a tree and collecting the fluid in containers. Now, lattice is a sticky, milky substance that you get when you what when you make marks in the back of a tree now we all know what a tree is and there are some trees that when you cut their back when you cut it you see fluids coming out from it milky fluids coming out from it now those fluids are what you call the lattice now those fluids are what you collect and you process and when you process it, you get rubbers. Now, those fluids, which are called lattes, are what you collect. When you collect them from trees, when you make marks on the backs of trees, and you get those fluids, you collect them into containers. When you process those fluids, you get what? Rubbers. Now, the process of collecting rubbers, collecting those fluids, is what you call tapping. It's what you call what tapping and the lattice that you collect is what you refined into rubbers and when you're refining it to rubbers it is then ready for commercial processing now rubber goes through commercial processing to get different materials rubber is a material which can stretch and can shrink rubbers can stretch and shrink so one thing you have to take note is that rubber is gotten from lattice it is a highly elastic substance it is gotten from lattice and lattice is gotten from trees when you cut the back of trees you get lattice so you can say rubbers are gotten from trees so let's look more about rubbers let's look at the uses of rubbers now we know that rubbers can be used for different industrial purposes. We can use it to make different materials. We can use rubber to make tires or vehicles. Tires or vehicles are gotten from rubbers. We can use it to make footwears. We have rubber footwears. Rainwears, your raincoats, those are gotten from rubbers. And we can also use it to make pipes. And we can use rubber to make gloves. You can, you've seen those plastic gloves, those rubber gloves, you can use it to make balloons, yes, balloons are gotten from rubbers, and you can also use rubbers to make pencil erasers, the erasers that you have on your pencil, they are gotten from rubbers, you can use rubbers to make all that diverse things, so rubbers is what is an essential material that is used to make different objects. So you can see that rubber can be used for different industrial purposes. Now let's look at the types of rubbers. We have types of rubber. We have two types of rubbers. We have the natural rubber and we have the synthetic rubbers. Now the natural rubber is a type of rubber that offers good elasticity. Now this is made directly from what from the lattice that you get from tree. Natural rubber is an unprocessed rubber that is cutting from the lattice that you get from trees. 
why synthetic rubbers are rubbers that are made by chemical processes chemicals are added it goes through chemical processes to get synthetic rubbers now it is a type of rubber that offers better resistance to environmental factors such as oil temperature chemicals and ultraviolet light so these are the two types of rubbers that we have these are the two types of rubbers that we have the synthetic and the natural rubber now this is a picture of a rubber tree now you can see this picture some of these trees are gotten in forests you can find them in those large forests so you can get them in those bushy areas so this is an example of a tree now you can see this tree when you cut it when you cut the back you get what letters from it and what you produce rubbers so this is all the rubbers that we've been learning for today this is all about science we'll be learning for today i hope you know what rubbers are now and i hope you can what you can and explain the types of rubbers that we have and the uses of rubbers and that's all we'll be doing for today in science i want you to enjoy your day have a great day stay safe and make sure you all take care of yourself <laughs>